G'day and welcome to The Tackle, episode number two as we look back at the three biggest moments of the AFL from the weekend. Uh, with me as ever is the former Fremantle captain and legend of the game, Sean McManus. Thank you, buddy. Good to and, be here. Yeah, it is good to be here. I'm, of course, Joel Gelding, uh, 1997 Kick Rising Star nominee. Um, welcome to The Tackle, Shawnee. Pretty impressive, uh, Joel, and so were the games on the weekend, my friend. Uh, definitely. Uh, starting things off on a Thursday, which is a bit odd, but Anzac Day, in my opinion, second biggest game of the year behind the AFL Grand Final. What do you reckon? No doubt. 94,000 people turned up to the MCG to see an absolute cracker between Essendon and Collingwood. Fair to say that Collingwood were tipped as favourites in this. Uh, the bookies had that th- that way as well. But um, we were really surprised to see with Essendon run away with a 40-plus win. Yeah, I think uh, a bit of momentum and a few junk goals at the end of the game. But uh, Essendon were too strong. We've been waiting for them to fall down. When are they going to lose a game? Yeah, I had this discussion with someone on the weekend. And people still think, ah, they'll fall away. They'll eventually fall away unless they beat Geelong. If they beat Geelong, then people might start believing, which I think is in a couple of weeks. Yeah, that'll be a ripping game. Um, uh, last two seasons, as we know, when it's come to the halfway mark, Essendon have hit the skids in a big way. Can they continue um, somewhere through June and July this year? We'll wait and see. And, of course, David Zaharakis is someone that's coming, uh, becoming one of those people that are giving uh, Collingwood fans a headache every Anzac Day, and this year he won the medal doing stuff like this. Take a look. Zaharakis, very famous on this day for kicking the goal. Well, he got the last one, Dave. Our second game we're going to take a look at, I know it's one of your favourites from the round, Shawnee. A couple of points, or was it a point in the end? Well, it was only one point, Joel. Fremantle getting up over Richmond. There was a lot of talk about should have that goal been allowed or should have been referred to. Um, Damien Hardwick, coach of uh, of Richmond, was furious after the game. Or as Richmond supporters called him, that idiot goal umpire. Uh, I'm not sure. How do you get this wrong, Shawnee? When you watch the replay, he just looks like he doesn't know where to go. I'll just leave my leg in there, and he got completely in the way of the yeah, ball. Yeah, he got ban- uh, bamboozled by the delivery, that's for sure. <laughs> Hit him in the leg, and as we know, the rule s- says if it hits a, a field umpire or the goal umpire and you're in play, then it's play on. So uh, it's a tough call, because that would have gone through. I've got no doubt about that. Could have Fremantle then been able to bridge the gap then? I don't think so, to be honest. So, Ballantyne kicks a goal with about a minute to go, and then this happens in the final few seconds. I've never seen this happen before. A ball that just hits the dirt, 50-metre kick, and it doesn't move. Have a look at this. Really, Hooley's got it. We're down to six seconds. Tigers need a mark. High ball. Where's Vickery? He flew. Ball loose at the back. Siren! And with that, Fremantle Dockers uh, get a little sneaky win there. Um, they're looking good, Shawnee. Yeah, it's been interesting because we should have beaten Essendon. Essendon should have lost to Fremantle um, and we're very unlucky. We were lucky to get that win there. So it kind of evens itself out and hopefully continues through the year. Although I will say that uh, Fremantle, without any forwards at the moment, Kepler Bradley out with a knee injury, they could struggle. Yeah, ACL. So he's out for the rest of the year, which is uh, horrible news. Best wishes to Kepler Bradley there. But our final game that we're going to take a look at Oh, man. West Coast Eagles taking on Port Adelaide. When you're up by 41 points, Shawnee, you think you're going to be in for a very big win when we, none of us saw this coming. No, they were home and host West Coast at half time. The inaccuracy kind of gave Port Adelaide something to look at and maybe some hope there along the journey. They were too strong in the end, Port. Yeah, like they did against the Crows a few weeks ago, um, they just got on this run and they were unable to be stopped. And uh, West Coast fans were just clinging to it. I was at a party just filled with them and everyone was just checking their phones, listening to the radio, seeing what was going to happen. And then Lacroix took a mark with about a minute or so to go and this happened. And unfortunately, he missed it. Port Adelaide get another win and after five rounds of footy... Essendon, Geelong, Port Adelaide, all undefeated. I don't think it's ever happened in the history of the AFL. I wouldn't have thought so. Nobody would have paid Port Adelaide to be this successful that early. No one would have thought that West Coast Eagles would be 1-4 and four heading into the next round. They do play Western Bulldogs this week. They'll be winning that game. But at this stage, they cannot finish in the top four. That's your opinion? That Therefore, done? they cannot win the premiership. Wow. You heard it here first on the tackle. Sean McManus, the West Coast Eagles... Cannot win the premiership, in his opinion. No, not mine. Can't. I don't want to be stoned in the streets, so I'm not going to put myself <laughs> with that. But uh, it's probably a fair point, actually. One and four, no one would have tipped them. They were probably one of the pre-season premiership favourites, and it's done. Well, I picked them at the start of this year, and maybe I gave them the kiss of death. I thought West Coast would be uh, top of the ladder, to be perfectly honest. This start has not helped them. Injuries have been the cause of this. This week, they get back Sherrod Wellingham. Matt Rosa probably gets a Guernsey. Nick Natanui not far away, so... 
They're starting to build up. They'll get on a run at no stay uh, and um, throughout the year. There's no doubt about that, should I say. Yeah, prove us wrong, West Coast. Prove us wrong. That's it for the tackle this week. Uh, we have been signed on for one more episode. Oh, how did uh, that happen? It just, it's such po- Two people liked us on Facebook, so we're going to continue this. We'll see you next week. Go Eagles, go Dockers this weekend. No,